in this session I'm going to demonstrate how to create a query with user input and as a result of that query then we'll create also a report where the user will have to input data some kind of data and then the report will be created automatically or generated automatically so first we have here a table called contracts and the contacts table has noticed the customer ID amount signing date and such by the way this works the same way for multiple tables as well as long as they are linked together so the concept it's the same whether we are using a table here or multiple tables so in our case we'll want to create a query where the user will actually have to input let's say the the date a specific date so we'll go here under create go under queries query wizard simple query wizard okay and then we'll go under contracts and we'll put the number id amount date and the type any of the fields that you want to include click on next next and initially we are not inserting any criteria yet we give it a name and then finish at this point notice that it ran the query with all the fields that we selected and the query is listed down here now at this stage we are going to go and change the design of this query where the user will be prompted to enter let's say the date we are going to change the design you can either do it uh, open it up here this query first and then go under the home tab and then go under view and go into design view or you can right click and choose design view now notice here these are the fields that we have selected that we are using for our query and notice under there is an option here for criteria so let's say we want the signing date we're going to put a criteria in there where the user is actually going to input that and the criteria if you're going to use user input you need to put it in brackets and then close brackets as well we'll close it at this point we could of course run it but we're going to close it so we save these changes and before we run it if we go here under contracts notice that we have some dates here for example 3 1 2010 or 2 9 2010 or 5 28 2010 so let's take note of 3 1 2010 and 5 28 2010 now we are going to run this query that we created and notice it says enter the date this is uh, looking for that parameter so the user needs to just type 3 1 2010 and then hit OK and notice there are two records with this from that table if I go and rerun this again and let's say I do uh, now I want to run it on, on uh, 528 2010 and notice we have two more records as well so that's how we create a query using user input or with user input from here you can actually create a report so reports usually run from data based on the tables or you can run reports from queries so this you're learning actually two concepts you're learning how to run a report from a query and also that query and the report then it is going to ask for user input so let's go under create tab to create the report click on the report wizard and then we are going to select the query here contacts by date pick all the fields that you want click on next choose whether you want to do any grouping or any of that type of stuff for now we're going to leave it the way it is next you can choose to sort these by contract number or id or however you want next and then click on next again and then give it a name contacts by date in our case and you can name this however you want click on finish notice it's prompting us for the date so if we say 3 1 2010 it should give us only those two records that match that criteria if we wanted to run this again for another date we can simply go here under contracts by date user input and let's say 528 
2010. Click OK, and there is our data. Now, you can customize, of course, this report any way you wish to, the formatting and such. So notice we have these number field here and such. You can always customize that and choose to make that larger. And you can reference uh, the previous video on how to do the formatting of the reports and customizing of the reports. And probably at this point you are wondering, well, how can I specify, uh, how can I have this query so that instead of me putting 3-1-2010 date and giving me just for that specific date, can I have this query customized so I put the start date and it gives me all, and also I put the end date for a particular range and then have the system list me all those criteria. So, and that is very doable. And um, you, all you'd have to do is basically go back here to the design view and we need to tweak and change this to include the range. So we can accomplish this by uh, doing the following. So we enter the range, the starting range here. It has to be in brackets. And you can have those words be whatever you want them to be. You put also the end range in brackets as well and you use the word and in capital letters now here we are saying we want anything greater or equal to the start date and anything less or equal to the end date then we save this by clicking on the save button here on the top we'll close the query and then run it again now it says enter the start date and we enter 3 1 2010 of course it has to fall within the range of data that you have in the system in your table we enter also the end date 528 2010 and notice the system displays the data that falls within those parameters we could run this for any date ranges so we could say 1 1 2010 I want to see all the contracts from uh, the January 1st and then all the way for the first six months to 6-30-2010, click OK. And notice these are all the records or all the contracts for that date range. Now you can do the same thing. You can create a report for this where you can run this report at any point. The, uh, the thing of the report or the advantage of the report is that you can make the data look nicer and such. If we go here under create and we go under reports and report wizard and we go under the contracts by date, we insert all those fields in there. I just clicked on all the fields, press next, next. We can order them by contract number or whatever there or by date, however you want them. Let's do them by date. Next, next. We give it a meaningful name, click on finish. Now this it's trying to run it at this point, so we say uh, 31 2010 to 12 31 2010. Click OK. Notice we have the data for all of that date range. Of course, you can go here and change uh, the look and feel of this, customize this report any way that you would prefer. And you can go into the edit option here under design and then view and the layout view and adjust how this is displayed. Format this any way you prefer, change the look and feel of it. Close it, saving it. And you can run this report at any point for any sales or whatever it is. And it works exactly the same way with multiple tables as well, as long as they are linked properly. So that's how you create a report based on a query with user input, whether it's single user input or multiple user input. It's one of the powerful features that most users will use 
in Microsoft Access from day-to-day -day tasks and business tasks.